You may now begin your presentation. The Nectos Korea has been in existence for a decade. A lot of projects knocked on many people's hearts. We knocked the homeless, the handicapped, and those who living on the margin of society. Last year, Inectos made a big change. The Inectos team made the first move and gave a hand to people who closed their minds. And finally, we made them open their minds. Still, a lot of people are waiting for us. Especially when they started to listen to it in a small knocking sound that it might have passed the book on many doors. The two of our projects responded to these minor knocks. We hope that Nukum and Vincent knock your heart. Knock, knock the door, knocking on the heart. The first project is Nukum. In 2007, by introducing the Social Enterprises Certification System, the Social Enterprise was developed into the fourth sector in Korea. And now, there are over 1,035 social enterprises. Yet, in 2013, 76 out of 411 companies certified by Seoul closed their business or returned their certification. There were many cases that social enterprises couldn't bring in profit, and especially when they lost support from the government, they closed their business right away. It was because the company didn't have ability to stand on their own, just depending on the government grants. Even if a company has a good business purpose and government support, the company appeals for manpower shortage at the start of the business and requires much help in order to settle down the company. The company, Paul Living Art, which we met, was just this case. One couple, designer Jong Seok Kim, Yoo Jin Jang, made a social design enterprise named Paul Living Art. For example, this couple started a campaign named Warm Hand for senior citizens living alone. This campaign gave mufflers or warmth to the senior citizens in winter and tried to turn people's social concerns about them. However, the first campaign season in 2012, the sales volume was 500 and the break even point was 1500, which was under the BEP. They had a big monetary burden in order to move on to the next campaign and their sustainability was on the line. What those people needed the most? It was that one or other to knock their door. Just like whole living art knocked to the senior citizens living alone, this time we knocked to knock whole living art's door. The project's Nukum made a vision, which makes one hand campaign widely known to the society and economically independent through securing the sustainability. For that, we started to be active and had a goal to achieve breaking a point. Therefore, Nukum looked over what had been wrong with the poor kid sales volume on the first season. What was the problem? The first reason was insufficient advertisement. The second reason was that the need kit was only traded on online shopping malls, which is limited distribution channel. And last, the transaction was mostly petty order for individual purchase. For this rollback, Lilpun gave solutions. First, active advertisement campaign through not only online but offline. Second, beyond the existing B2C sales form, we plan B2B market penetration. Last but not least, we increased the satisfaction of the volunteer introducing new donation system. First, Nukum team proceeded publicity activities. We promoted our campaign widely to the citizens by participating in major local fairs such as Hwasong Citizen Ethics Meeting and Seoul Village Business Fair. We also participated and let the people know our campaign on COVID-19 market events where social enterprises sell their products. Moreover, we attended volunteer festival in Seoul, which led to volunteers join in. We informed the purpose of our warm hand campaign and also we directly sold the kit to the potential buyers who were participants. When Nukum team were in absence on the first season, they couldn't go further because these outside promotion events were beyond the two representatives' capacity. But it may be possible together. Furthermore, the two designers had a chance to learn sales promotion and how to advertise products to the general public through booth events. 
To raise awareness on our campaign, we pursued promotion activity via online. First, we undertook the management of Warman's Facebook page, which were not properly operated. We promoted the Facebook page by various events with gift accounts and increased the number of likes to 636. We constantly posted Warman's news on Facebook and provided the community with campaign participants. Also, through advanced sharing economy social community tax learner, we directly recruited volunteers and shared need kids and made them join the campaign. Like this, we try to promote sales of products on SNS. Next, we made an effort to make B2B sales contracts such as corporate, schools, and organizations. We participated on many festivals and events. At the same time, we directly contacted organizations, promoted the campaign, and offered one hand leading campaign to the volunteer program, which was inside of the organization. We contacted many organizations, including primary, middle, and high school in Seoul, social and social contribution team in an enterprise, and volunteer service center in a college. We could serve about 3,500 kids by B2B channel. Lastly, Lupo made virtual cycle system that is a donation system for local society, and it works like this diagram. The system is to donate local residents made mufflers to corresponding area where the senior citizens living alone. It's not just an activity which finishes only in personal volunteer activity to help the elderly. It will build a cooperative system which leads to the local community coexisting. For example, Nilpum led a knitting class in Hwasong with 81 students. The mufflers made in this institute were given to the senior citizens living alone in Hwasong. This virtual cycle system of local donation lent charm to women campaign and to organization participants. The CEO of Whole Living Earth also appreciates this donating system's merits, and they plan to make an offer for group participants to choose where they want to donate. Each class of society responded to our nod toward a better world. The donation campaign, Warm Hand, was introduced on a KBS program called Good Morning Korea, and also, Nilpum's activity was reported on magazine called Keller Life. Nilpum performed a lot of activities. We shared the information with Full Living Art in many events, contacted organizations together, and shared feedbacks in order to make campaign for Whole Living Art, not for Inicta's campaign. We never ended up just selling the product. Furthermore, we proposed cost reduction and suggested tax paper system where donators can get direct messages to the offerers given to the senior citizens living alone. We hope these sharing and suggestions will make women campaign to be independent, monetary, and eventually will make them to be sustainable. We had worked together and made it. During Women Campaign Season 2, we reached the break-even point by selling 1,500 kits. Moreover, we sold 43.75 kits and attained 290% of our sales goal. As the final outcome, we produced a remarkable accomplishment, which was 775% growth rate of sales year on year. Warm Hand campaign reached the target sales volume with Nukum. Whole Living Art gained confidence for continuing Warm Hand campaign season 3. 
The senior citizens living alone spent winter with the campaign, and then they took their smile back. More and more, people started to donate their talents in meaningful things with their home and home. Now, whole living art is going to be independent by themselves without their home. Certification for pre regionally social enterprise project for one hat campaign season 3 in 2014. We are looking for a new story only for whole living art. As we responded, whole living art knocking, we listened to another minor knocking song. We focused on young people's voice. The second project is Vincent. Our second project, Vincent, started with a knocking song from the people right beside of us but couldn't receive attention. It's the young people. People said the young are challenging with full of passion and have their own dreams and bright future. However, the survey conducted by Statistics Korea showed the first reason why the young want to suicide was economic difficulties, and the reality was the average paid that amount per college graduate was 15 million won. Especially non economically active population in at least an artist college graduate, which at 31.1%, which is the maximum record. And they are getting minimum average wage, among other majors. There are many young people suffering from the hard financial difficulties, which makes the young can make their dreams come true, or even have the future. Project Vincent met the student in Seon Lee, majoring in, in design, and she was also in a similar situation like this. Seon was doing non-major related part-time job for graduation exhibition fest, which is over 10 million won, and plans to make up the short form alone. But since the freshman, she has had a student loan which pressed down on her. Economic difficulties were the obstacle for her dream. Vincent has strong desire to be a partner with the people who can dream their simple dream having a major related job. Vincent wanted to make an opportunity for three design major students who knocked us to be financially independent and self-realization through their independent design works. takes about 21 years to grow completely, but we only can produce 700 pellets from the pine tree. The pellets are used in industrial sites only once and are mostly thrown out due to the poor durability. Also, the disposal fee to draw the used pellet is troublesome to the company. Vincent paid attention to these problems based on wasted pellets. We would like to make upcycled products by reclaimed pellets. For that, Vincent made a free of charge supply contract with Songshin Warehouse in Incheon, and it makes our project sustainable. Vincent's business model is as in the following. The students will design and reveal the supply wasted pallets into a new and eco-friendly product. Now, we are planning to make practical products like chairs and tables for single household and office furniture. The finished goods will be sold through Electra's team and the profits will be used for the economic independent and for design major students' dreams. In order to fulfill this business model, Vincent is planning to release task products like half-finished products which consumers can easily use on this beginning of August. And the eco-friendly design test products will be produced finally in September with feedbacks. Then, Vincent will promote, distribute, and sell the finished product through on and offline. We are expecting that design major students accumulate their business experience and also strengthen their design ability through Vincent's project. Plus, Vincent is not only selling the product, but the product will work on customers to be informed of product benefits and expand ethical consuming culture through eco-friendly products. Through Project Vincent, the waste palette will be upcycled into eco-friendly products by three design major students and those will contribute to the environment by less 
using the button palette. Students will have chance to release their own design products. Through this, they will learn the direct practical business experiences. Furthermore, by selling their products, they will have an opportunity to be economic independent from the profit of the product sales. Listening to a small knock from the world, then open the door and hold their hand. And step out to the big world together. We took the donator's hand, the social enterprise's hand, the senior citizen's hand, and the young people's hand. This is the project we will try to do, and we are doing now. Knock, knock the door, knocking on the hearts. Did our stories knock your heart?
마음이 된 그런 친환경을 느끼는 게 많이 있는데 그거랑 혹시 뭐 차별점이 있을까요? Your time has expired. Judges, please give a big applause to Tim Fry for their presentation and achievement. <laughs> 